Hi, what can McDonald's, what can I get you? Uh, yeah, can I get uh, one large Happy Meal? Uh, can I get a Monk, a Maid's, two, uh, do you got two of those, uh, mounted units? Uh, yes we do, sir. Alright, cool, I'll take two of those. And, uh, can I get a side order of Thyrus? And I think that'll be good. Okay, sir, your total is five chapters. Please pull around to the underground. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses PMU. We've got our girl. We've got this nice little redhead who's joined the team. Very simple, very easy, in fact. No, no difficulties. She just wants to join because I paid $15 to do so, or however much the DLC was. <laughs> our team is coming along great right now. We have, we have a total of five units. And we're on our way to get a six. As soon as we get that armored rank up. Also, if it wasn't clear enough by my ability to somehow be cutting around so much, yet still be terrible at planning and pacing things out, we have our seventh member that we are going to try and recruit, Miss Dorothy. Our first commoner of the group. No crest to be found on her. She is of no noble, noble, noble descent here. She's just a plain Jane girl with ravaging hair uh, go-getter attitude nice honestly nice bracelets if you're looking at the model right now she got it going on also hat everyone's gonna mention hat uh miss dorothy high on magic just like happy it's i'm pretty sure there's a lot worse than happy's i i thought happy strength was at least like 30 but dorothy woof leans only 20 strength big magic big pretty okay like a little bit less than average but you know it normally becomes average and above with as the game goes on. Good res, bad defenses, bad strength, bad physical. Makes sense. She's good at swords and reason. Makes her good for a mortal savant build. Uh, she's bad at riding and flying, so Dark Knight and uh, Holy Knight seem pretty bad for her. Not the best. She's also bad at uh, faith, but that gets counteracted with her budding talent, which is the same budding talent. Uh, she gets the same exact thing when she masters... Uh, Faith as uh, Byleth does, which I think is kind of cute. They're a little little match up together. Personal skill, songstress, uh, 10% max HP. We don't have a healer. Better than nothing, right? But as you can tell, very heavily magic based, and that does not stop when we get into her <laughs> spells and her arts. Big spell list, kind of. Weirdly, uh, I... A little all over the place. Very good reason spells. Thunder, Thoron. Thoron's very good. Thunder's high crit. Sagittarius has good damage. Meteor, our first Siege Tome. I think this is the first time I'll ever really use a Siege Tome in three houses because of uh, reasons. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, and Agnia's arrow. Big damage all around. The Faithful spell list. Weirdly, not all there. Just. The two basic ones everyone gets, and then physics. It's kind of strange for someone who has a budding talent in it. I don't know, it seems odd to me. And even her sword, her one singular combat art, makes her sword use as magic-based. Kind of neat, but she's clearly, clearly leaning heavily towards magic usage. Once again, that's not up to me, though, to decide whether she does or does not. You know go into the field of magic or not it's all up to you guys make whatever decision you feel right Thank you for and as you might have saw last time because my poor Thank planning she's in fact already at uh c support rank so we just need to do this a lot uh luckily she's um we don't need to use these on ferdinand anymore loren's on the team so we can kind of just dump all of these that we got we got all of these from all the planting we've been doing and pretty much just spamming the monastery non-stop. Uh, hopefully, still nothing yet. I'm probably gonna use the rest on her. I don't see a reason not to. Thank you. Thank you. And she's still not there. That's okay, though. I, I, wanna sa I do want to save some of these, I think. To uh, make sure that some of our students can uh, get back to full, eh, I have this. Thank you for <laughs> make sure that uh, our students can have full 
uh, motivation for teaching without having to spend on cooking and I could maybe grind some money that's neither here nor there uh, right now but as you can tell she doesn't want to join Nichita and Authority they're pretty high Bylips has pretty high of those at base uh, I think she has a C right now, but I think it needs to be like a B plus until I hit B support. So, for the time being, we're going to ask Dorothy to join us on the mission. Yay. And now that we have Agitons, we can just slap her onto Byleth, and all will be well. And she, Byleth can just go in, and Dorothy will be our friend. Alright, back here. I've maxed up everyone's motivations. Uh, I got some food. I gave Lorenz a little bit of gifties. He's a special boy, make sure he's at full. And now, somewhere around here. Wrong. No, go away. Around here? Bingo! Gilbert, my buddy, my friend, it's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard that you know a little something something about armored magic. Armored magic, armored rank. Which is good, because Byleth still needs to get it very, very up. Unfortunately, though, as far as I can tell, uh, he's the only one again. As it seems, our good friend Alois has disappeared on a mission to suppress the Western Church. <sighs> one day, Ferdinand. Alright, over here, top left of the map, I'm doing something that I <laughs> was supposed to do before I talked to Gilbert at all. Let's get the mission from this man, the DLC quest, Sauna Time. We go here to talk to this man. The sauna helps you bond with your allies. And if you go, and if you go, if you finesse it, you put the right amount of rocks on the thing, you stay the perfect amount of time, you're gonna boost your ability to learn, including bylifts, which is very important in her learning. How to be a better armor knight. Should have done this first. Live and learn. I'm also going to partner up with Lorenz for the sole fact that he needs to be able to jet boost super launch himself into faith magic to become a healer quickly. They've warmed up and feeling really good. We are both feeling it. We're both shiny glowing specimen. Now for the rest of the month, any teaching they do will be increased, it will be impacted by that. Thanks. I'm glad I asked. Thanks. And give us a little ooh. More meat. More delicious meat. Oh, I'm hungry now. God damn it. <laughs> also given to us this month, a quest from Little Miss Flane. We have to go clean up the the statues. Which so unlocks. Thank you. Thank you. Which unlocks Neat. the statue artisan man. We are now able to boost the rate at which people gain stat levels, skill levels, which is very important if we want to build them where we want to go. Uh, we get a little bonus experience, plus 5%, which is always good. The very important one that I'm one? we need to aim for right now. You're all this plus, one? come on. I don't know why you can't You're just scroll one? down and get just go right to the one you want. Class experience plus one. This is going to be detrimental and very easily mastering classes, especially for the characters I have to double back for. Lance is good, Faith is good, Experience good. We don't need more Divine Pulses right this moment. I'm going to boost the other ones up, up, up. Also something else I was supposed to do, I just realized I was supposed to do before learning from Gilbert, is that if we actually go to St. Indec, we can actually increase the rate at which this one. our heavy armor is gained. You're all set to this one. This one? You're all set. Huh, do I want to spend those points? I could spend it on this, sword and reason. Dimitri doesn't need swords tear it's two hundred points. This doesn't matter. This one? I'm getting heavy armor. That'll also boost it every time Byleth teaches set. from people. We're going to make very good use of that to get make sure that gets up this and get one? Ferdinand as soon as possible. We are missing out on the tiniest bit. We're missing out on experience plus 5% here, but that's totally fine. See you again soon. We got everything we came for. We're going to take a quick break from the hustle and bustle to talk to good old daddy. 
keep this humble. Hmm? I suppose we're visiting our mom's family. grave. I cherish it. and she smiled. She died. She loved this ring is the one day. And we get a beautiful ring from her. You have my thanks. And it gives us enough points to get the plus five experience. That's exactly why I came here. Citer Einsia. Eisnir? Eisnir. The. I feel like Byleth as a whole isn't like too much. I feel like she's just kind of overlooked as main character, whatever. Same as Robin, same as Corrin. They're just kind of there for uh, wish fulfillment. I can't say that most people are like wrong in thinking that. Like, it's totally a fine opinion for them to have. I guess I've never been a fan of a self insert, so I don't really try to uh, see them as that. I kind of just see them as what their kind of kind of boring nature has to like give them. Like, I guess I'm trying to draw more than what I can from them. And I've always found Byleth to be very close to uh, the Persona protagonist, both uh, 4 and 5. I haven't played 3, so I don't know. The the stoic, cool person, but also like a complete dumbass. Because they're just so socially inept that they barely talk or do anything. Which, I mean, of course, is a gameplay thing in and of itself, that they don't talk much. Um, but just sometimes their abilities to choose dumb things and Byleth's ability to be this badass mercenary and <laughs> reply with everyone like, with silence or just the most boring of answers. I don't know. It's like weirdly charming. It just, she feels socially inept to me. Like she, I feel like she should be like a Catherine, this well experienced mercenary type character who, who's fucking cool and Byleth is cool for being a mercenary. Mercenaries are cool, all hail Ike. But I've never found, but like, she's just stoic, obviously, because of her background, because of the things that happened to her. And I, I find that weirdly endearing that she's kind of stoic. I'm not exactly sure why myself. But uh, I don't know. I just wanted, to, I just wanted to talk about that while we're here. We're using Dimitri. It's, it, we use Dimitri on everything. Uh, I'm probably just gonna grind out a little, a little bit of money on this. Who's next? Uh, I might just do it the both remaining times because it doesn't. Because we pretty much. I wish I could te teach armored. Armoredness? I wish I could teach Byleth to be an armor knight. Right now. You never had a chance. More with our boy Alois, but I can't, so I'm just gonna get a little money. And then I'll probably see you guys at the classroom for a little teach sesh. All right, classroom time with just a little bit more action to do. Now we have four little pupils who minds we need to bless with knowledge. We've got Sylvain, Lorenz, Happy. Are they set on their right paths? Uh, Valkyrie, Flying, you need to get set up with Reason and Flying. We're gonna max out your reasoning. You're gonna go, wait. Is Valkyrie the class I'm thinking of? Be right back. Okay, I'm dumb. I uh, I forgot. Right, Valkyrie, which sounds like a flying class, is the class that Happy Happy is built towards, and is the playable is the unit she's playable as in her route in a uh, in the DLC game. As you can see, Lorenz getting big air bonus. Did I not set him to be training in monk last time? Oh, I got him at the end of the month. That's right. We need to set him on the proper course. We're gonna train him in Faith. He can use a little bit of Reason at the level 10 class, because I believe they use both Reason and Faith. They overlap, but he's eventually, but that doesn't really matter. He's going to be our heal bot, so he's going to overlap, and we're gonna do it like this. I can, in fact, uh, switch over Stable Duty to these two. Ooh, three stars, pretty good. I believe that's their goals for right now. I. Th I think, just to help uh, my mans here get a little bit closer, I think I'm gonna do this. Just so skill growth goes up. Because we he is level 10, he can go to his intermediate class, and we'll deal with that in a moment. Ooh, level 9. That's so sad. We could get you on the path, but you do need to... Uh, you do need to wrap up this class anyway, so... 
Ne, it's fine. Oh my god, we have five teaching rank already, so that means we get to grind through these people. I guess while we're doing this, I need to figure out how I'm gonna do this later eventually, because golly, we're gonna be doing this a lot. Uh, is this a... I don't know how people feel about teaching as a whole. Um, it doesn't feel like it at, like, I mean, it's neat to plan out the route itself. Also, see here, they have the sauna bonus plus four every time we teach them. Very nice. Uh, maybe we can get them to D by the time we hit the thing. Maybe not. It's close one. Ooh, I should I should just definitely auto-focus him on that as well. Uh, I don't know how people feel about teaching. I like the idea of how using the monastery time in conjunction with it to get like the optimal amount of what you need. I guess we're just going ham on this. Like, sure, she'll need Lance later, but she's barely gonna use that. I get it. But, like, at the end of the day, you eventually just easily auto-max people, and then you just mash A and what they need. Like, it's cool to, like, plan short-term goals of the stuff that they do actually need. But it's still not the most engaging on a technical level of planning a build. I would honestly kind of say that Fate has it, like, simpler, but possibly more effective. Because it's just planning going from class to class and picking up the skills as you need them. It's not like too overly complicated, but it doesn't need to be. It kind of becomes a time waster at a certain point. Bring along a snack. I didn't even look. I didn't even. I didn't even read for one millisecond. I saw bring a snack, and I thought a net, and I was right. And I never would not be right on that shit. Don't test my knowledge, boy. I'm not sure about this. Me neither. I guess that's that. Yep, good good job, guys. You got, like, five points. All right, how close is Sylvain going to be? Ooh, pretty big. Ooh, see, so much C rank. Nice. Okay, Lorenz will definitely have a healing ability once we get on the next teaching session, which we are obviously going to hop right back into the monastery as per usual because we need all them stat points. Everyone needs to be thinking. Everyone needs to be big brain. I need... Armored rank, guys. I don't think you understand. Oh, yes, baby. We got a great. Oh, that boosts us so much. I'm already at D. Ferdinand, you want to be my best friend now, right? Well, the eldest son of House Iyer will not be so easily swayed. Yeah, I didn't think so. <sighs> I'll see you, D+. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got C plus rank. And then we go teach. Yay! Alright, and in the teaching week, uh, Sylvain got himself to X rank C, and I should have swapped them off that. Fucking it's all stupid. Coming together. And our boy Dimitri's already hit B rank with sword and got Hello axe breaker. And now for the last weekend, we're actually not going to go back to the monastery. Sorry about the noise. We're actually not going to go back to the monastery. We're going to battle. But first, we're going to take care of something that I kept pushing off for reasons that are beyond me. We are going to take care of... Um, let me just drop this save real quick. Don't look. Uh, we're going to take care of certifications. Our boy, Dimitri. Actually, we're going to start with our girl... By Lith, she actually doesn't technically qualify for most. She does not have C rank in Lance's yet. She's very close. I could have taught once, but I think that'll be okay. We can roll it. See? Bada bing. A new path. Yep. And the battalion's removed. That makes sense. She's flying. She can only use flying. Dimitri's going to upgrade himself to a lord. It gets charm. Very interesting ability to pair up with Sylvain's personal skills. So if we have... So plus extra three damage to allies during combat. Which means that if we put Byleth and Dimitri around Sylvain, he'll just start doing damage and damage and damage. 
Huh. Huh. Oh, it tells you what uh, naturally gets improved. Neat. I didn't actually know that. 100% pass rates, so of course he's gonna get it. Big strong sword boy. Strong's a relative term. And our little Sylvain's going the brigand path. He's maxed out axes. And by maxed out, I mean C rank. And this is the only class he can use axes. Or he can only use axes now that he's in this class. But it's the only class he's going to use axes for. And these two are not level 10. Very sad. Also, I looked at Dorothy, but... Yeah. He is close. He can heal now. Which actually will uh, quickly bolster the amount of uh, experience he gets. Because he doesn't... He can just be healing all the time. Heal, heal, no matter what. But we're actually going to spend this time taking on one of these. These are the side quests. Oh, wow, I can do two of them. I guess I will do both of them. But these are side quests that are more or less for the point of uh, unlocking a couple more things. And they're just little missions that you can do with the group. Uh, we... I guess now that we have two uses of it, we're, we're going to do both of them. I'm cutting all this shit out because we're not even at the chapter still. And it's chapter five, which is very fun, isn't it? That we'll get there in a minute. I'm going to blaze through these, and I'm pretty much just going to use these as an opportunity to hopefully get maybe Hoppy to level 10. Uh, get Miss Happy to 10, and now that we have Agitant, slap an Agitant on Byleth at 8. She's flying. She's, she's a flying unit. She's a flying unit. She flies. She also didn't even master her class as soldier. Get back in there. God damn it. You didn't master it either. Okay, well, I guess that's also what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be grinding out everyone's little classes so they get their little boosties. Let's see what. Uh, you stick on monk. You stick on monk. Okay. As I said, I'm going to slap Dorothy on. And, well, I guess I'm not. <laughs> Back to Lance's. F oh, ah. But yeah, I'm going to grind. I'm going to not not really grind, but just kind of knock these out real quick. I should have. Well, it doesn't matter what I have. Hopefully, Dorothy should want to be my friend by the end of things. And hopefully, uh, you'll be closer to the level we want you at. You might be at 10, which might be nice to promote, but I don't think you're going to master... Uh, Right, you have to do all of Monk. You have to master Monk, so no, it doesn't even matter. Whatever, we'll have you for the next chapter. I'm gonna do that, and we'll be back for the boss. And just like that, we've wrapped up the two battles for the two side quests. Side quests? And we already have B rank with Dorothy! Yes, let's go see how she's doing. I don't think she'll join us because she's talking to us this week, but that is good because that means we can pretty much automatically get her whenever we want to next episode, which I am... A okay with. Also, I realized something. Don't mind that. It's very hot in here. I have a hoodie on. I'm taking that off. It's not anything else. I'm gonna throw it. I can't take my pants off that fast, so that's proof. I hope you heard that. Anyway, I love you. Uh, I realized something. Well done. You have my thanks. While I was doing those uh, those little side questy grindy bits, um. We're going into the worst chapter in the game. Chapter 5, right? This is a good support. We'll watch that next episode. I got Byleth to master... I got the boys and Byleth to master their, uh... Their classes, at least these three boys. So now I can actually promote them to where I want. But, what I'm trying to say... Oh, I can use swords. Oh, oh I can give her the sort of creator back. Anyway... What I'm trying to say is that the battalion that Byleth has is no longer available because she's flying. That's it. I can use lances too? That's busted. Okay. This power right. Okay. So, what I realized during. I can use. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. No, no more of that bit. Uh, also, I got happy to 10, Lorenz to 9, but. Even if I promote Happy, she can't 
turn into her class until, you know, it's time. Can she do it right now? Yes, she can. I mean, might as well. Whatever. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I realize we're going into the worst chapter in the game. I realize that going while I was grinding the quest, I was like, this is gonna suck. We're gonna be here for hours. So, I did the only reasonable thing. I have constructed a brew that I'm going to call Saros's bathwater. There's, it's red, and there's a Christ analogy, analogy in there somewhere, with uh, w b b gamer bathwater to wine, as they say. I also got the blacksmith. Uh, I'm one one of those concoctions in right now, and I'm going to continue down this path as we just fucking breeze through the easiest chapter, but the most tedious and boring and awful chapter in the whole game. In the whole game, dude. Hmm. I need to upgrade. I'll upgrade the steel sword. You can just make leaven swords and need another arcane crystal. But that is the proper treatment to be handling this chapter with. I know for a fact, Mas. So I actually just got off the phone with Mas Sahiro Sakurai, the guy who put. 8,000 fire emblems into Smash itself and he said yeah, man Yeah, this is correct. You gotta play you gotta play you gotta play you gotta play The worst chapter in the whole game like this or else. It's just not even fucking bearable Great to meet. It's not entertaining. I know you're into the let's plays. Mr. J socks. I know that I watch you all the time he said and I was very flattered First off, and then I, you know, I kind of agreed because at just at a certain point, it's fucking stupid bullshit. This chapter going a big circle unless you've optimized it to get your fucking Lysithia the warp rank in by this time, and then you just warp them in. You play in a normal mode or whatever the fucking one the LTC people are up to nowadays. <laughs> But that's not happening, and we're on maddening mode, and, and we got stupid bullshit to deal with, so I'm just going to enjoy myself and let the waves ride the high of the flow. Mm. Ah. This is not a normal concoction. Saros is gamer bathwater. This is not made for mortals. You have to be at least infused with part of Saros, which I am, because I'm Byleth. You know, spoilers, as they say. Uh, you don't have a build yet, so you're gonna be an adjutant. Everyone else, go away. You know, I like to use her, because she's cutie. Big cutie. There are no adjutants to- oh. Byleth is flying, cannot assign her a thing. Uh, I think Sylvain will actually technically be the tankiest, because he is passive and... His uh, battalion gives it to him. We have five units, three fighters, uh, kind of just two healers. Also, Happy has really good spells that we can make use of. Banshee reduces their move to nothing. Honestly, really practical. Negative five speed, pretty good. Yasma, pretty good. I should really, maybe I should update those bios a little better to include types of things like that. Duck did talk to me about that type of thing, but I did not listen. Oh yeah, right, because he's a brigand now. It's just axes. Give me, give, 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 give. Perfect. Uh, still vulnerary. <laughs> Thank you, heal bot. Oh yeah, with the spirit dust, the speed carrot, and the fruit of life, I'm gonna distribute those now because I'm not gonna hoard. Pitfall, 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 gang. Uh, by the act actually I was thinking about oh, she boosted to 14 speed. She was at 10 Golly, I was thinking about this. I actually want to give it to Dimitri because not too often do I do stupid builds like this So I might as well have fun with it and get him as dumb and big as possible big speed 17 speed uh, Give me my magic sword back. Thank you. I guess I'll pull out a spear for him. 
It's weird that they can both use it. Ground or Sunder. There's no flying units, so there's no point. Temple Slance is very strong. I don't even have Wrath Strike. Wrath Strike equipped it. But I don't need it. I have Ruptured Heaven. It's the same. Yeah, plus 5, plus 10. Plus 7, plus 10. That's just better overall. Okay. And that's the only sword I'm using. Five units! Fucking sweet. You have the chest key, right? Okay, cool. Five units and one Gilbert. I appreciate your offer to teach me armored class stuff, but I can't use it. But right now, you're just gonna be a big bitch and you're gonna die. I'm sorry. No one has good defense, golly. This is not the battalion I thought it was supposed to be. Sylvain, you gotta get the battalion that gives you like plus three defense. Yeah, I don't know why Happy has this one. Oh, well, I guess it's better because plus three attack. You know, plus two defense is fine. And her rank in authority is E, so it just, she can't get the, the, the magic one, so she's gonna have to deal. Yep, check. I, do I need stride? Not with four people, necessarily. I gotta, I might as well give Gerald's mercenaries to Lorenz. Cause that's what you can't even use the plus three bonus. Plus fifteen avoid. I'll take this on him. Give this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I don't need stride. I'll take these. Just a little bit. Oh wait, but that's minus two magic. Right. When did I get these? Take it. I mean, that's a pretty good gambit. Look at the AoE on that. Okay. And I think that's good. I mean, I guess I could buy a hand axe for him, just to be safe. Maybe another, uh... Yeah, I just put iron axes on him like a doofus. Well. Welcome. Hand axe, why not? He's pretty fast. Everyone's relatively fast compared to Byleth. It's weird. I expect I have to always get speed, but it just she just didn't. <laughs> I don't have That's enough it. money. I don't have enough money for the thing. I gotta have a gold bar. I did two. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Pack Mulin. Yes, that is the one. All right, can I buy a pure water from my boy? Put in the convoy anyway. Come back soon. We got two pretty much base healers, so I don't need to worry about vulnerabilities anymore, which, oh, thank God. And I will, like, just to double check. They're both on Monk, which uses Faith and Reason. Right? They didn't master it, so I'm not moving on, so we don't need to worry about healing items too much. But I can pack one pure water. Probably should buy more, but, you know, whatever. I should probably... Right, I should distribute the rest of these. Wow, that's going to seem very inconsistent. But I'm definitely giving this to Happy because she's going to be our main magic damage dealer. Lorenz is going to be a mixed attacker, more more or less. And his just growths aren't the best. I'm not giving that to him. I'm going to give this to Byleth. Just because, I mean, using Byleth might as well make her as strong as possible, yeah? Yeah. I don't know what I deposited. I think it was this. That looks good. I have something with three uses. Let's get that out of here. Thank you. Okay, we're just gonna dive into this chapter. We're gonna go. We are gonna go! Whoa, whoa, whoa. 11 speed? I'll cut through. Against Prince Dimitri? I don't think so. I don't have a practice sword. Oh, I can't hit 15 speed. Damn it. Oh yeah, also, Dimitri got Axe Breaker. Uh, Byleth got Night Killer. She hit C rank with uh, Lances. I don't remember if he got anything. I don't think he did. I'm on it. I'm on it. Stay focused. But yeah, we just kind of walk forward until the big bad reinforcements come behind us yep. and kill Gilbert, and then we gotta deal with them. And unfortunately, heroes are at, our healers are at fort movement, 
And they hit 41s. And they hit 41s. What do I expect? Saros Gamer Bath. Luckily, at least they do magic. And I can use Reason Magic, which I can't once he gets to this uh, priest build because it's specified as only faith magic. But it's good right now. Sagita? Pretty good spell. And I can use both of them. Bofa. Wow, she's strong. Alright. Nice. And I can just push forward. I wish I could fly over this wall. I don't know why I can't. But it is what it is. Oh god. I'm going to do that accidentally because I can't feel my feel. Good job, Sifting. Also, I got the boys up a little bit. But uh, for the most part, healing? Uh raise experience a lot. A lot, a lot, a Captain, lot. So, uh, Renz and Happy were able to very, very quickly keep up. Mm. This bath water is delicious. Okay, I don't know why. Just, just skip. Just skip it. Now, I should probably push forward, but unfortunately, the thing that's gonna happen is that they're gonna come this way and fuck with me. So I should probably at least put one person intercepted. Get his passive off. Uh, I'll send Byleth this way. 11 speed versus 12. Okay, perfect. So, I have a steel sword? When did I get that? Oh boy. Whatever. And I'll send him back and then probably just heal him with someone just to get a little bit of rank. That uh, that plus one rank we got from boosting the uh, sickle statue was it sickle? It was one of the statues. Whatever. Uh, very helpful. All things considered, and he's dead. And he's dead. And he's gonna run up and do his fucking gambit. Oh, he didn't do his gambit. I missed that. I missed it. He had a seventy-one. I had a sixty-nine. Is that really so? Oh. Okay, it's seventy-nine. Whatever. I don't have any of my any of my axe gambits equipped. Oh my god. I have helm splitter and smash and I don't have those equipped because I didn't think to put those on. Uh <laughs> oh well. Nice job, Violet. Okay, please just continue to get speed. You are a Pegasus Knight, thank you. you wow, defense as a Pegasus Knight? Uh, get rid of the sword. You don't need that. You only need your super magic sword. Okay, because they're like this, I can actually position someone who's pretty good with the... Neither of these two have good res. Of course they don't. Eight. Twelve. You have, like, a million res, but I'm not going to waste your... Res? Charisma. I'm not going to waste your game on them, on these fucking Goombas. Before I do, what's your speed? 14. 12. Okay. As long as I keep people with low speed out of the way, it should be fine. Perfect. What's your speed? I probably should have put you there. 7. You have good res, though. You have 9 res. Good is a relative number. I understand. Uh, sad to say 12 damage. Probably with, a, with like, a combat art, it should be good, because combat arts are broken in this game. Do I want to take the day? Oh, right, I don't have a combat art on fucking Sylvain. I don't have a combat art on him. I'm so dumb. Use the rapier. He should just live. You don't know how, honestly, I'm considering resetting because it's like turn two and I don't have a combat art on Sylvain. It makes me sad. Armor Slayer? Armor Slayer. I do remember what's in there. Oh well. This chapter gets exactly what it deserves. <laughs> Fucking no attention, brain dead itis. And you still got your combat arts. Big steel sword. Bonk. 
I should probably put on the combat animations. I've never seen the, the lore class before. No one's ever suggested it. Or I've never even thought to use it. I'm gonna take a big drink. Oh yeah. Okay, big heals. And now he's level 10, and if he masters the class this chapter, which he probably will, because this chapter can take eight years, he should be good to go. Appreciated. There's gonna be a second wave of them, but I'm just gonna keep marching people forward, and we'll get to them eventually, because this chapter's not gonna be long. Also, I'm glad that they're both monks, because reason magic, which means I have double healer. Like hop, or not reason faith. Uh, Hoppy would definitely just be down a class that would only be strictly, uh, strictly reason, and then she wouldn't be able to use any of her healing item moves, which is uh, very sad, but thankfully she can right now, so I'm gonna take full advantage of it in the worst chapter in the whole game. I'm gonna chill this, chill? I'm going, I am going to kill. You're natural. Oh, bitch. Okay, so there's weird AI patterns with this. Um, if you aggro any of these archer men, ev everyone on the map just starts chasing you. Everyone. I don't know what's gonna happen now that I told, now that I aggroed this guy. So we're gonna have to see. Can I double anyone ever? No, but they don't do damage. I have 12 res. You're, what? 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 Oh, it's my, it's my Pegasus knight thing. Uh... Whatever. One damage. They don't have like attack seal or anything like any of the other mages we normally get. I'll probably use a combat art here just to, cause it makes sense to. I probably should have put someone in. Yep, I should have. I'm not using a divine pulse. That is going to be a big regret mode. I'm going to take another drink cause it's enemy phase and nothing happens here. Hmm. Which I guess should be the time that I fill it up with conversation. And this mo- okay. So they're not being- Let's just- there we go. Good job, Byla. I can't believe people don't like Byla. I like her design, I like her hair color, her hairstyle. The eyes are kinda big. I will- I will concede that. I will concede that. It's fair. I'm going to gambit this guy and hit the guy behind him. 55 is a high number. Fuck. Yep. Alright, so the RN is not exactly in my favor. Okay, it was very high. It was just very high in general. Which means... It said gambit boost, but there was no actual boost to the number. It was still 55. That makes... No sense. But okay. Whatever. And then Dimitri should be able to do 18 damage to this guy and Sylvain, because he's by a girl, should be able to live. Bonk. <laughs> Damn, Sylvain. Okay. Take out your aggression on this. Your brother being a dickhead. That's fine. He has a lot of HP. I'm glad I kept HP plus 5 on. Stay and by this back in action. Kind of. Uh, no one over there can attack him. Zero damage. And then we just, uh, Hello? Um... Are you in the Sylvain... Okay, never mind. You're almost in the Dimitri zone, though. I really wish I put combat on on him. But I can't because I don't have a... Br 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 brain. And then we're just gonna say hello. Um, hello. Did you come into the wrong neighborhood? This is where, uh, Crown Prince Dimitri lives. You shouldn't be here. No, no, no. That's a bad place to be. He's got the magic rapier and the magic steel sword plus two. Uh, you can't fuck with the magic steel sword plus two, baby. It's not good for your health. Good enough for me. You're a magic user. You're supposed to get all magic. Maybe I'm just too used to Lysithia. Oh well. Oh well. It's not the biggest deal. This is a waste, but it's experience. Bam. We've got a lot of chapter ahead of us, so she probably shouldn't use it like that. 
Because uh, we have to avoid the range of these archermen. And if these archermen, if any of them hit them, we're gonna say, well, hmm. Well, we know where they are. We already knew where they were, but I attacked them this one time. So in fact, okay, everyone, let's run at them. They can't survive if we all run at them. And they're like, honestly, they're not wrong. They're not wrong. They're honestly not wrong. I have this sudden fear that I'm not recording sound uh, for my microphone. Okay, cool, I am. Uh, these are the fears that come out when you don't think. They probably were always there, but I wasn't, uh, I wasn't bold enough to act on them because I wasn't, uh, seduced by Saros' bathwater. But I'm gonna keep rolling. I already know the, the title of the thumbnail in this video. This is the chapter that, uh, this chapter gets exactly what it's deserved. So if we go far enough with Byleth, we're gonna spawn reinforcements because that's just how this chapter works. Uh, I'm gonna put an iron sword on you. I should not have put the steel sword plus. Even in my stupor, I can recognize dumb plays when I can see them. Please don't the rest. Okay, so it's just the healer. I'm honestly okay with that. Uh, I don't think it's aggroing this guy. I believe it's just making it past a certain point. Uh, these two places will spawn bad guys. Even if you cover the hole, it'll be there. Total speed. Okay. AS12, AS15. Not bad. They're gonna spawn twice. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna place like this. There they are. Here See, even when I don't know what's going on, I know what's going on. And they're coming. I forgot about that part. Okay, that's fine. Okay, they don't double. That's the most important part. I really wish I put combat arts on the boy. I really wish I put combat arts on the boy. Why am I so dumb? He still kills him in one hit. If I just switch to a better weapon. Iron Axe? This is. They could never attack Hoppy if. She, happy. Happy? Hoppy? Whatever. If she's right here. You know what? He'll take reduced damage. He'll survive the next blow, so I'm just going to use Lorenz to finish the guy off with a little fire. My cat's making noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but she's not making loud noise. She's not like screaming at the top of the lungs. Nothing. Oh, perfect. 22. I know this game so well. Probably should have moved him first just in case. Okay, and then by the, by the speed. Okay, that's okay, actually. She can fight both of these guys more than likely. It's two reinforcements. Easy. Right? And then those guys. Which is less easy. Are you gonna both go after me? Oh, they're both gonna go after me. Okay, I thought they couldn't reach, but I was wrong. I didn't look. Uh, and then we just set up to defend both of them, and that should be easy clap, because that's the only reinforcements in the whole fucking chapter, and then we just slowly make our way over. I have a javelin. Bitch. Uh, I should probably do like this. Um, okay. Like, fucking, oh my god. 10, 10, he'll take 20. Uh, so he'll take 10. That's fine. Can, is there a way he can double 12, 12? I don't think so. Not even, I don't have a training sword on him. Oh my god, it's so close every time. Maybe he'll get a speed level up on his level up, because that's all he gets, apparently! Did you just miss? Bitch. Okay, so... I love it's gonna weaken this person, because they do no damage to her. Let me use a javelin. Or let me use a lance instead of fuck the javelin. Goomba. Nice, I got the crest proc. Oh yeah. Oh! Okay. Okay, I have a conscious stream of thought here. 
So, because Byleth's ability, her personal skill to be able to increase the experience of anyone adjacent to her, being able to canto like this is actually very important because you can canto where you want to and then just increase the experience gain of your allies. So no matter who goes here or here, they get an increase of experience. That's actually fucking awesome. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's that good, honestly. Really? Okay. Hoppy, can sure. you kill them in one go? Maybe? Yeah. I'm at my limit. I'm at my limit, even though I'm going to fucking kill this guy. And he gets the bonus experience. And he gets the experience from personal skill. And he levels up strength? You can do that in this game? I didn't know. It seemed like you couldn't. I'm gonna be real. It, it seemed like that was a fucking lie. That that was actually unavailable to the player. But apparently, Dimitri, with his 60% strength growth, can actually just do that, bitch. I like that this one healer guy is coming up like he's going to destroy us. Ah, ba, 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 ba. Like, look how much experience they get. They get just from healing. It's honestly very practical for trying to raise up units, and I'm glad that our units are like fairly strong. This man does one damage to Dimitri, the guy with no res. How does that even happen? Nine. How does that happen? What is? Wow. Wow. Golly. Golly, you are a disappointment, Mr. Mr. Mage Man. And a Master Monk. So now we can get Hoppy into our next class. Uh, Sylvain. Sylvain? Lorenz will probably be. Nobles must be strong. I didn't know we was getting usable level ups in this fucking chapter. I didn't know that was allowed. I thought it was just going to be, be, be bad chat. Bad level ups. Okay, so. This motherfucker only has healing magic equipped. Okay, by let's get like a, a point of speed. Okay, no, that's fine. The strong. She's built like a wyvern knight level. She's a. She's a Pegasus Knight built like Wyvern Knight. It's so weird. And then we got Bonk. I should really turn Baba Boat animations on. He's level 13? When did that happen? He's level 12? Oh no! My little boys are growing up so fast. I mean, I guess this is what happened. We only have five of them. But shit, they're gonna be fall. They're gonna be fall in their fall, 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 fall class before you know it. This guy's 12 red, 12 cha. This guy's 24 cha. Motherfucker. Okay, gonna turn this guy off. Gonna keep that guy on. What? Gonna turn that guy on. I'm gonna go right here with the rapier. He won't, he definitely won't combat, uh, battalion. He's gonna battalion me with a 20% chance, even though that's the fucking stupidest idea in the universe, because it's a 20% chance, but you know, whatever, it'll hit. Yeah, good job, doofus. <sighs> and the healers are falling behind as they do. And Dimitri just kill as he does. And I can just kill his archer. We can even get the second archer for his ring. I already forget what it does. Very cool. Bonk. And we're just gonna move along. Oh. Oh, this has already been 30 minutes. And there's nothing here to really cut because I'm just playing the chapter. That's not good. This episode's also gonna be like an hour long. 
And we're approaching the death pit of Arch... Archer... Archer... We're gonna have to deal with them. This is when we're gonna first start using gambits. I'll probably double back for this guy, but I can't think enough right now to not just want to deal with the fucking pile of dipshits. I almost ended my turn. Good job, Happy. Happy! Good enough for me. All right, shit. Okay. So I actually have a like a like a philosophical theory about this type of thing. Uh, units definitely level up more when you're not focused and worry about the type of level ups that they'll get. Like, if you're like, oh my god, get strength, get strength, get strength, get number up. They're not gonna get it because you're worried. You're worried way too much, and that, and that affects your mood, that affects your, you're like, uh, ah, la, la, la. your mental state, and they're just, it's just not gonna happen. But if you don't give a shit, if you just don't think for one second, for one millisecond about whatever happens, because it'll be fine, just fire and boom shit. One level up isn't gonna break the game. Alright, Sylvain. Wait, can I like do this? Do not kill the whole team. Twelve. Fourteen. Maybe. Well, this guy would do it anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Get in there, my dude. I don't want to put anything. But, uh, I think Lunk is very much, uh, influenced by your, uh, state of mind. Like, if you care so much about level ups and any type of luck, RNG, whatever, what have you, uh, the game is going to listen or the universe is going to listen and just say fuck it. And just say fuck Stay you focused. in the most obtuse ways possible. But if you don't think about it too hard, it'll honestly probably go your way more than you think. Hmm. Okay, so I wish to kill this guy so that I go right here and then I can boost his hit rate chance. But also, if I go here, this should be. F Don't think twice. Shit. I'm on it. I'm on it. Yep. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Who the fuck is hitting me? That guy. Four. This guy is at seven. Okay, so should be fine as long as he uses miasma. Oh, that's an axe guy. I'm stupid. I'll cut through. Thirty-nine, probably not gonna hit, and it hit because fire emblem, defensive tactics up. But the po okay, so I'm gonna do this. Probably gonna get Byleth killed. I really. Really did not mean to do that. Please hit both. And he didn't hit both. So 31, 31. Oh, I'm gonna have to redo this chapter, aren't I? Wow, was that easy too? I gotta just pick. Oh, fuck. <gasps> I they missed! They fuck sucked this game! They don't <laughs> They fucking suck. Who taught them how to play this game? They are bad at what they do. Oh my god. I don't have a vulnerary. Uh, 32. Minus 13. Hmm, should have lived that. So I should just rapier that. I'm gonna kill this guy. Be mindful. Be mindful. Oh, they about wow, a mega speed. Oh, mega speed all this. Uh, oh, this is going on. Okay. I can't count. I can't count. Uh uh. Uh uh. 
That's not a heal spell. Did you use all your heals, you fucking dummy? You dummy used all your heals. Now what are they gonna do? They're going what are they gonna fucking pull out of the vulnerary shop and and then put the hand axe away that I bought for no reason and do the pure water instead of the alcohol and it's instead of the the the, 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 the vulnerary? What? What do you mean you're gonna use your fucking gambit, you dickhead? I almost bit my tongue there. That's what I'm saying. He's way too slow. Yup. He hit. His his fucking battalion's gonna leave soon. I need those for the boss. Okay, and well, now that Lorenz is out of healing, he is no longer useful, apparently. He definitely needs to improve on his healing. I, oh, I kind of wish at this point that he didn't become a fucking heal bot, but I kind of, can't kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of. I can't remember his healing arts, so shit, what am I supposed to say? Yeah, sure, that's fine. I can't believe I didn't give combat arts to fucking Sylvain. Stay focused. Okay. One, two, three. It's just gonna be those three guys, and then we'll get them with these two, and then a bunch of archers will come in. And we'll just deal with them as we go, so let's just get everyone down. -na 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 -na. I should probably put Dimitri there because he's the person with the highest uh Charisma, so they won't get hit ever by a uh, gambit, so they'll probably be more likely to use their uh They're just normal attacks, but we never know because I guess because it's kind of scary because he is a rapier and you're an armor knight But we'll see where the wind takes us, you know I should probably kill him up so Lorenz go there because you don't have any more heal spells and You don't either. I said at the beginning of this, this type of scenario would happen. So I need to convoy, take a vulnerary, trade it, the steel ants, drink that, and then go. And then he goes. He's gonna lose his battalion. He's gonna lose it. That's okay. Oh, right, he can't even reach. Fuck. I forget the damage calculation for uh, battalions. I take like a third. I'm still holding the up here. Hey, Fulmeri. Let's get rid of that Fulmeri. Yeah, these four move, and then the bow guys move, and then we're gonna kill Sylvain's brother, and then we're gonna kill Sylvain's brother again as a fucking dipshit. I mean, a, uh,. A honored member of society. Society. I used assembly that would pull him back one, but with this one, so it's just kind of doing damage. Mm. This chapter is. I'm just gonna live up here. This chapter gets exactly what it deserves. The most fucking unattended, unbranded. Did -did -did. It's time. Yeah, fuck you. Bong. Okay, so, this is actually very important because the sword guy, this guy, and this axe guy can't get in any of the action. Not a lick of it. So that means we can attack the armored guy and the axe guy without getting, without worrying of risking any of our important units. This used to be asthma. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It's the end, it's the end of the chapter. Close to and then see three piece combo delicious. I thought I gave it that level up is a lot less satisfactory than the first level up. Can I okay? He'll attack Dimitri because he has nowhere else to go. And perfect, that guy he used the vulnerary. No way. Wow, that's weird. That's very weird. 12 cha. 14 cha, and you have Gerald's mercenaries, which means you would hit all the way back there if you hit. Perfect. I believe in you, my boy, my favorite little boy, my little redhead. 
you're smart at what you do. Hey, you have too many vulnerabilities. This guy, this guy can hit. Oh fuck. Okay, so the play is to get Byleth in there, kill this guy, get Dimitri in there, kill this guy, and then only, yeah. Okay, so I need to use my two magic users. Perfect. Never mind, I need to use my one magic user, Mr. Lorenz himself, plus two magic on his battalion. Yeah. Bonk. I still got it. The Emperor's new groove, I still got it. Okay. This guy has like no speed, which means Dimitri can walk up and go, hello? Um, hello? Uh, Dimitri here, it says bonk. It says double bonk. I should have healed him before he went in because he might just, so the effects of poison. Yeah, he's gonna go first. Okay, he missed, Never mind. It's all good. I had to pee really badly. But that's because Saros' drink is making me do things to me. Uh. Ah, uh, yeah. This this chapter itself is taking 43 minutes, and we're not even at the final part. Makes me sad. Makes me very sad. Because this episode couldn't be like an hour long, and I kind of wish I could stretch them just like half an hour episode. But it is what it is. I can't believe he just doubled that guy. Okay, so I can't think properly, so we're just gonna set up with the baby strat of setting up the magic users to hit the man with the lance to ruin at 1 2 range, because he doesn't have 1 2 range, and then we're just gonna follow up and kill him with everyone else. That's the plan. I'm, I'm gonna take a speed away with uh, with Happy Swarm. So, you think you can take the lance from me? I'll kill you. I'll kill every last one of you. Fair enough. See, I knew that would happen. Uh, Lorenz can get the kill whenever he wants. I'm actually gonna heal with Dimitri because. The Part two is gonna happen. I don't remember if they're healed or not. Yep, any doubles. I guess we're move by it in range, so we, whatever. Uh Sylvain's brother is an evil dickhead, as usual, as older brothers are. We have a monster to fight with the three of us. I have my magic sword, I have eight speed. Uh, maybe it would be better to put him in, because he's... Cause he's 16 speed. Just, just take it, just take it. Just take it. You got it, Dimitri Onitan. Oh, that weighs 19. Oh, never mind. Magic bind, he doesn't get until at least one bar of his health bar is fucking evaporated. Uh, what happens if you use the hand axe as in the car? 11 speed, 12 speed. Eh, eh. Ah, uh, spooky. Okay, also, I just realized they didn't, they did keep their health, so I'm glad I healed Dimitri when I could. Maybe he'll just move up. Okay, cool. I'm going to focus for one second. And to focus, I'm going to take a big, big drink of Saros' bath water. So, the gamuts we have to work with, assembly, blaze, not blaze, I used it. Uh, poison tact, right, what is his? Zero, okay, so every, every gambit should theoretically hit. 
And he doesn't double, he just takes a lot of damage and could get possibly crap. But this weakens all of the spears, which is good, which is what we want. I'm out of those. I'm out of those. Well, no, I haven't used those. Okay, so they're guaranteed to hit. And so there's actually interesting mechanic with the monsters. So I'm gonna gambit up with him, bonk. And now because I've gambited, the next attack actually won't have any retaliation, so it's actually important that I pick someone who can do a lot of damage in this time. Uh, this is 22, and if I put on Sunder, this is 37, so I could get a high percent chance of crit. Bonk. Nice. Crit. Guaranteed crit. Not guaranteed, but high percent crit. And now the next person I use a uh, Gambit with, he will attack that guy, which I think Biop is definitely a good choice for, because Biop is still pretty bulky. That breaks most of the monster. And I don't know if the armor fully heals because we left one piece alive, but it does to some extent heal, but the next attack will be free as a bird. Uh, Banshee doesn't matter, he doesn't move that much, so we'll just do that. And we'll just knock Happy. Happy gets to level 13. Okay, that was an awful level. He just got speed. Speed's a good level. What the fuck? Why does it have three health? Sylvain, can you hit the hit him? What is that? It's like watching a bad dream come to life. Agreed. It's weird that you get like entire boss levels off off of one health bar of these fucking divine bees. Gonna attack by probably. Yep. Predictable. Predictable. Which is why that the unit known as Byleth didn't give a shit. Okay. It didn't heal at all, actually. So once we break this, no one will be able, he won't be able to retaliate. So I just need to attack with someone. Hmm. <laughs> Gambit, just so he doesn't retaliate. That'll hit the second one. Perfect. Thank you, Lorenz. Okay, so everyone can wail on him. At oh, we got. All oh, right. If you break all of the uh, squares, you get a little bit of crafting material, but Oh, there was an Iron Lantern one use left. I saw it. I saw it and then it clicked the button anyway. Whatever. Oh my god, attack and speed. Nice. Okay, but he won't be able to retaliate, so everyone can kind of just do as they please. Please double. Guaranteed. Okay, we're not guaranteed. But he only has 15 health, which a Sagata should be able to kill. <laughs> it's fine. He couldn't counterattack, so everyone's safe. He won't do anything. And the next attack won't do anything eat. What do you mean? Oh, right, I'm kind of broken heavy lens. But we'll hit with that. That did like almost a full level up. Holy schmoly, dude. Uh, it's gonna attack Violet, it seems like. 36. Could that hit? 31. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, cool. Why is it at 31? That is very low. Sword plus, I'll just use an iron sword. 35 shouldn't hit, right? Perfect. I think no matter what hits, we'll be able to follow up and obliterate it next turn. Uh, 57. Unfortunately, I wish these units had a little bit more health again, but we'll definitely be able to detract more, and I guess I could have attacked. That poison was very important. Thank God, poison attack from Lorenz, I believe, who has it. Nice miss and a dodge level 14. That's gonna be very helpful and crew. Did you guys see the level up that I mashed through? Strength and speed. Strength and speed? That's not fair! 
fair, guys. That's not fair. You can't give that to a pilot. Bitch, miss, miss that shit. All right, bitch. All right, see ya. <laughs> what do I wanna be ya? I can just move Dimitri over here. Uh, I kind of want to get the kill with Demet Man. Uh, everyone's like relatively okay. Yeah, sure. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna get the kill with Dimitri because his personal and by this person probably stack. So it's gonna bonk and go whoop. Yeah, that's pretty close. He's already almost level 15. I guess that's a. I guess that's the benefit of running. God. It's over. Five units at a time. Golly, golly, golly. We did this map and only took, according to my recording, only took 52 minutes. It only took, it took 52 minutes? I hope the cut parts of the monastery make up to only it's an hour instead of 50 hours. Uh, I saved it, but uh, have a good night, everyone. See you guys next time for the next episode. Uh, by the talking, but I'm gonna cut the episode here. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye bye. This episode, this chapter sucked.